Greetings, epic adventure seekers. Welcome to your guide to demystifying your world. I'm Allie Beerman, and you are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. If you've not yet done so, please rate and review the show so others will be able to find us. And there's probably somebody you know who's looking to understand how come my world looks like this? What's going on out of my awareness? So on our website, and you'll see the link in the show notes, it's really easy to do that because there's a button that says leave a review. Today's review is from the Blackbuster who says, wise and mystical guide. Ali helps us to feel the love that we are and guides us with each guest's wisdom in a practical and mystical way. That's fun and impactful. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. So it's always my intention to be a guy. Today's guest, Paul Levin, is out to stop emotional pain worldwide. And before jumping into a chat, our chat, I have a question for you. Are you stuck facing the same doubts and fears and frustrations day after day after day? Isn't it time you made up your mind to get someplace different, to take different actions, to become someone different? Download my guide, Step in a New Direction, and the link is in the show notes. Paul Levin is an emotional breakthrough mentor, author, and speaker. He's a certified hypnotist, certified NLP practitioner, specializing in belief systems. Paul believes childhood traumas are what keep you stuck. Resolving those pains empowers you to manifest the life you desire. He assists you to quickly and easily trade a life of suffering, experienced as frustration, struggle, for a life that's filled with more smiles, inner peace, and love for each day. Paul's book, Your Life Sucks No More, The Ultimate Guide to Manifesting Your Perfect Life. If your life sucks now, this book will change your life life. Paul's on a mission to rid the world of the kind of pain that never goes away by itself. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Allie. Many practitioners in the healing arts resolved a personal issue, and that sparks them to want to create healing for others who might be experiencing the same thing. What set you on your path? What an awesome question, Ali. Thank you so much. My story, there's going to be approximately 50% of the audience who's going to relate with my story, and approximately 50% who will not. My story is a, a sad story because I truly felt for most of my life that my life sucked. Going all the way back to childhood, uh, my kindergarten class picture shows when you look at the faces of little children, you can tell if they're happy or not. And this kindergarten class picture showed a unhappy little boy. And my life went on and all kinds of things and stories we could go into that we won't that happened in my life and in my childhood that made my life suck. And you, you go through life, you just go day by day, you, you, know, you go to work or you go to school or you, 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 know, you take care of the kids or you do the chores or whatever it is. And we don't take the time and say, gee, I, I don't like the way my life is going and I wanna change it. But I was sitting in my office that I had in my home. I've always had a, a room in my home that I called my office. And I'm sitting in my office in my home and I'm asking myself, why does my life have to suck so much? And that time, I was in my 50s when the, the time that I had done this. And when I had done this, I got an answer. It was loud, it was audible. It was like somebody was yelling in my ear. 
I, I mean, I looked around, there was nobody there. There was no one in the room with me. And the answer said, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to suck. Now, I, 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 I have to be honest with you, after 50 years of a life that sucked, that just got me more upset. Oh. Right? It's like, after 50 years, now you tell me this? Right? Okay. But something happened in my office that night. I made a decision. That voice was so compelling, so forceful that I felt, okay, you know what? If that's true, then I'll do anything. I will change my entire life. Everything about my life, I'll change. And this time I'll be happy. And uh, several minutes later, I step out of my office into the rest of the house and nothing had changed. It was all the same. And so I did nothing with that decision for five more years. Wow. Right? Because hmm. th there's a principle that says environment is stronger than willpower. So in my office, I had a mountaintop experience. Right, it, it's, you know, I was given the tablets and what have you, you know, here life doesn't have to suck. But then I came down off the mountain and, and nothing had changed. It was all the same. And so I could not create the change I wanted until the environment around me had changed. So fast forward five years, we'd sold the house, gotten divorced, it was just me and the dog living in this little house I had rented with a fenced backyard in a little town. And, and I turned to the dog, her name was Foxy. And I, I said, Foxy, do you remember? She, she was an Australian Kelpie, about two feet from head to tail and about two feet off the ground and the most adorable little face. And I said, Foxy, do you remember that decision we made like five years ago? And she looked up at me and she said, of course I do that. Foxy didn't talk, okay, uh, <laughs> right? And I go, oh, Foxy, what are we going to do about it? And she goes, I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Uh-oh, now I have to do something about it. So I start, and here's another principle. If we want radical change in our life, we must take radical action. And that it comes in the form of stepping outside of your comfort zone, which you've probably heard before, I know, but it's true. So it, it doesn't have to hurt. It just has to be different. And I started at 57. I enrolled in a college class. At, at the time, I was out there speaking to people about holistic health care and how you could be well without doctors, drugs, and surgery. So I figured I'm going to take anatomy and physiology. It was the most wonderful experience to be sitting there learning anatomy and physiology with 20 year olds when I'm 50, so we're dissecting the, 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 the frog right together. It's wonderful, I loved it. And um, I got an A in the class. And when the class was over, I decided I was gonna take a workshop. I'd never done that in my life. Like pay a couple thousand dollars and fly somewhere to go take and go learn something. I'd never done that in my life, but I did it. I said I was gonna do it and I just did it. And I had the most wonderful experience. I came back from Las Vegas, it was fantastic. I, I, and I come home and there's a pile of mail, thank you air conditioning. That was my air conditioning. Uh, it works really well. Uh, I come home and there's a pile of mail and in the pile of mail is a postcard. And the postcard is promoting another workshop. And this is weird, okay, because I've never gone to a workshop in my life. I just come back from the first one I've ever gone in my life. And for the, here's somebody I'm promoting a workshop to me, right? And it's free and it's local. Okay, so those two excuses are gone. And the postcard's using the same language, the same kind of verbiage, wording, that the guy in Vegas was just using, but it's a whole different subject, completely different subject. I took it as a sign, I have to go. You know, it didn't cost me anything except time, so no big deal, I'm going. 
And I'm sitting there in the workshop and I'm loving it. I'm loving every second of it. Now, for those of you who have heard of T. Harvecker, the man T. Harvecker is an author. He wrote The Secret to the Millionaire Mind. From that came a workshop called, called The Millionaire Mind Intensive or the Millionaire Mind Experience, which they're not doing right now. Should they ever start doing them again and you hear about it, go, go. It's an amazing experience. So I'm sitting there and I'm loving every second of it. And we're, we're getting, and of course they're selling things and they're selling more workshops and I'm not buying any of them. You know, they're all about $1,500, $2,000. It's like, no, no, no. Day three, it's the afternoon of the last afternoon of the workshop. And they're selling the big package, the $10,000 package of workshops, two years of, of workshops, okay? And every cell in my body tells me that I have to get up and go to the back and buy this thing. And when I get, I'm like, as I'm walking, I'm like, this is more than a house or a car. I mean, I, you know, I don't spend that kind of money on anything other than a house or a car. And yet, what am I doing here, right? And when I get there, I have to call the credit card company and tell them it's really me who's doing way outside my comfort zone right now. Okay. So I buy the program, two years of workshops. I start flying off to other parts of the country back and forth because that's where they are. They're not here. Okay. And every time I come home, I look in the mirror and it's like, oh my God, I, that changed my life. That changed my life. And then a month later or two months later, I fly off to another one. It's like, oh my God, that changed my life. Fast forward. So one thing I got to tell you, every time we fly off to one of these things, they're selling more. So two years turned into three years and 10,000 turned into 30,000 by the time we were all done. Okay. It's now two in the morning. I'm driving home from um, a karaoke bar. Uh, I had started singing karaoke during the two year, three year process. Yes, and, and I'm actually pretty good. And um, and I'm driving home, it's two in the morning. I've had the most wonderful day. The most just wonderful day and evening and singing with people I knew and meeting new people and having a great time. And I started thinking about my, mor my morning and how that happened in the morning. And it, it, it didn't work out the way I planned it, but it worked out perfectly. I mean, it just worked out perfectly. I couldn't have orchestrated it better. And then in the afternoon, that experience happened. And it was perfect. I didn't plan that one at all. It was just perfect. It was wonderful. And I'm thinking to myself at two in the morning, driving down the road, I'm like, I, wow, like everything in my life is just perfect. It's lining up like things just happen perfectly. Okay, you had asked that question separately earlier, right? And there's the answer to it. Okay, what, what, does, it, what does it mean to have a perfect life? Well, there's the meaning when everything in your life just lines up the way you want them to. When everything's just, oh my God, you look back and you say, that was perfect. And at that moment, spirit. Now, do you know who spirit is? Right? Spirit is that entity bigger than you. Okay? That thing that, that right now you believe is outside of you and it is bigger than you. Okay? And spirit says to me, at this point in the process, I had, I had gotten to the point where I learned to obey the voice of spirit. And spirit says to me, pull over to the side of the road. Now, I'm thinking the car is going to explode, right? A tire is going to blow. The engine's going to catch on fire. I don't know what, but spirit told me to pull the car off to the side of the road at two in the morning, and I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> right? So I pull over, and spirit says, so you're living a life where everything's perfect, huh? And I go, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. It's just incredible. And, and I'll think about where I came from, right? A life that sucked, right? And spirit says, great. Now you can teach others. So here I am. That is I, one of the best stories that I've heard. I love, I love, I love, I love that. Please continue. Uh, just a tiny bit more. Uh, you know, I went back home and I pulled out all my notebooks of all the notes I had taken over the past three years. And I just stared at them and I said, I, you know, I'm not going to teach for three years. I mean, this is crazy. I don't know how you teach what, I, what I've got now to somebody in a reasonable amount of time. 
And and Spirit just, I just opened the notebooks and I started flipping through the page and it's like, oh, it's not in the right order. If this piece over here that I learned in step seven or eight, you know, the seventh or eighth workshop I went to, if that was number one, well, then this piece over here obviously becomes number two. That becomes number three. That's number four. That's number five, six. Boom. Wow. And now I teach people how to have that perfect life. In, in It's a 12-week program, but actually it's just six weeks. The first six weeks is how they get the truth of it. And then we apply it for six more weeks of their life. That is so exciting. Uh, I bet if we look through, we'd find classes that we were in together because I love Harv and I volunteered for him at the programs that you're talking about. It's holy mackerel. It's I powerful we, stuff. I bet we worked events together. I'm sure of it. Yeah, because I worked a lot of events. And, and that's, he's such a genuine person. And you're so genuine and i i hope my listeners are paying attention to you're coming from your heart and what you're doing is you're recognizing the what i call it invisible forces that are driving you you actually hear a voice i get feelings and you're honoring it and you're taking your time and talking with your dog and my he, he's my guide. He's my spiritual guide. When he was alive and he was a cat and he was deaf. So we communicated totally um, with mental communication. And he's been gone many years and he is still my guide. So I don't think it's the least bit weird that you were talking with your dog for guidance. And just the fact that you honored all of it and it let you move to the next step and the next step. And I never use the word perfect, even though <laughs> I always say everything always happens perfectly for a beautiful and divine reason and always in divine timing. And what an example you are, I can see your clients having extraordinary life changes in your program. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just so, I'm so glad that you came forward today and said, let's connect, because I was thinking about it, but you took the first action, also perfect, and in divine timing, and even the universe put some blocks up, we were supposed to get together today. Oh, absolutely, blocks are not, so just a, a side note here, a comment, quick commentary, if I may, uh, to your audience, um, Who's, who, who may be sitting out there saying, oh, that's all well and good for you. you. You can have a perfect life. My life sucks, right? Okay, and just so you, you should know by now, I can understand that statement, okay? Because my life did suck, okay? Um, the thing is, the blocks, those things that we think are blocks, thank, for, thank, thank them, be grateful for them. What, a, what an amazing thing. Can I, can I mention what today is? Yeah, yeah. Literally what today is, even though you're going to be airing it another time. Right. So that kind of makes it not evergreen. But today is Thanksgiving in the United States. All right. What a wonderful day to be talking about being thankful for all the things that we're not happy with. Because those are the walls that protect us. That's such an important, important message. I've had some nasty stuff happen in my business recently. And like you, I look at it and say, okay, universe, what do you want me to know? And of course, I, I see everything as a gift and where I need to go with something the universe wanted me to see that I wasn't seeing and I needed to pay attention to it. Exactly. And it's lovely to have somebody else reiterating all of those lessons. It's, and you're very powerful. You're, I, I love listening to you. <laughs> I want to say that. And, and I, I want to go into a little bit more. First, I'm going to take a quick sponsor break. Today, we are sponsored by Audible. And for you, my Epic Adventure Seekers Audible's offering a 30-day free 
trial where you get to download a book and then go explore. I love Audible. I have a huge library because they're not just Audible audio books. But what I'm reading now is a book by Nora Roberts. Now, you might know her as a best-selling author of romance novels. But earlier this year, she decided to go in a different direction, and she wrote a fantasy book, and it was called The Awakening. Now, I've never liked, I've never read fantasy books, but when I read there, I was like, uh, she's leaving us in the middle of an adventure, and I waited all these months. And just this week, she released the book to The Becoming, and I want to highly recommend that to you, and the link is in the show notes. So, where do you see your teaching going? Because it, it's, it's so important. <laughs> and what kind of programs do you take people through to be able to facilitate the changes? Because everybody's coming from a different place, even though we all have the childhood traumas. And I know as a specialized kinesiologist, 100% of everything that happens, and it could have started in utero, it's in there. Well, in fact, um, the psychologists, psychiatrists say and believe that 80% of our beliefs are set into place before the age of five. And the next thing, now this comes more from metaphysics, it's something that I assert strongly, and that is that every experience in our life comes out of our beliefs. So now let's put those two things together. If 80%, you know, if every experience in my life comes out of my beliefs and 80% of my beliefs came before I was five, we should probably take 80% of our time and focus on what happened before we were five. Hmm. And what happened before we were five is traumatic. First of all, you were born. You came you know, from a very comfy environment where everything was provided for you to... Um, I was going to call it a difficult world. Uh, <laughs> let's just call it a world, okay? A, 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 and the thing is, we cannot call it a reality because it's actually an illusion. But we came from the comfy illusion into a not so comfy illusion. I mean, the first thing somebody did was smack us for God's sake, right? So, uh, <laughs> okay. So if, but then later on you, you, you were hungry and you had to wait when you were hungry or you, you, your diaper had to be changing and that was not comfortable. And, and you discovered that this illusion is difficult, it's, it's painful, right? It causes difficulty and stress and anxiety and all of that. And so for the first five years of your life, no matter how loving and wonderful your parents were, you experienced trauma. Now, to the extent to which that trauma affected you and the extent to which you are holding on to that trauma is the extent to which your life sucks right now. But we can take that backwards. We can go and say, if, well, if my life really sucks right now, then there were these things, I'm holding on to these traumas. Whether you remember what they are or not, don't worry about that. We can deal with that, okay? That's not relevant. But you are holding on energetically inside the cells of your body. Every single cell of your body is holding on to the trauma of your childhood, making your life suck today. So... All we have to do is go back and remove the effect of those traumas. You, you asked a secondary question, you want me to, which was how do we do that generally for everybody? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, so it's a whole different question. We can go there now. <laughs> okay, one of the things that I love about holistic healthcare its premise, the premise of holistic healthcare is to find root causes. There's another premise of, of holistic healthcare, which is that everyone is an individual. And that is true. Every, you, you and I are, are unique individuals in the illusion, all right? 
by, by contrast to conventional medical medical system, the conventional medical system, who sees everyone as the same, holistic healthcare says we are unique. When I, this is what got me down the road of where I'm at right now and doing the things I do now, is I took that, let's find root causes real seriously. I wanted to find the root cause of pain because I had a lot of it in my life, physical and emotional. And I felt if I could find the root cause, I could eliminate that and all my pain would be gone. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay, well, guess what? Having chased it through the body into the mind, right? And then from the mind, I chased it into emotions. And from emotions, I chased it down into beliefs. And so, yes, I can eliminate all of your pain simply by changing your beliefs. Correction, 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 I'm sorry. You can eliminate all of your pain by changing your beliefs. I don't do anything, I'll just show you how. That's all. Um, and, it, and it works. So when, when we change, so how do we do it generally for everyone with every problem and every kind of emotional issue? because it really does work for everything. When we change those core beliefs, so here's what the core belief. It's something that you believe, you don't even know you believe it. You were taught it from the moment you were born. Probably you were really taught it from before you were born because we can hear in utero, all right? So here's this core belief that affects you and destroys, it makes your life suck. I'm not worthy. I can't see the audience. I can't see you right now, but raise your hand. Is that a belief you have? I'm not worthy. And if your hand is not up right now, you're lying because everybody on this planet is born with that belief. We're taught it from the minute we're born. I am not worthy. It's a lie. And when we change that lie, the entire house of cards falls apart and your life changes. And I show you how to change that lie. That's it's such a perfect fit for exactly what I've been teaching. It's wow. <laughs> I'm so glad that we hooked up because we work really differently. I do it through kinesiology and I let the spirit tell me what it is. And I didn't know that thing about 80% of the trauma happening before year five. So I've been thinking of all the people I worked on. I'm pretty sure 100% of them had original trauma. That was before the age of five. And that's like, wow. It, you might it, hear um, something really cool? Yeah, yeah. When you take somebody in their, say, 40s, okay? And, and this increases beyond 40. It's a little bit less, you know, uh, below 40. But it takes somebody in their 40s and identify the root cause, the root belief or experience, the childhood trauma event that was the root of whatever problem they're dealing with today. The minute they do that, they will then begin to see a, a series of events throughout their entire life of that experiencing happening over and over and over. Oh yeah, it happened that, it happened when I was five, it happened when I was nine, it happened when I was 12, it happened when I was 17, it happened when I was 25, it happened when I was 32, over and over throughout your life. So we find it and stop it. It's totally the universe doing what <laughs> I was talking about. You're gonna keep getting the situations and the people until you say, hey, wait a minute, there's a pattern here I need to learn. Well, it's, it's, it's a cry for help is what it is. Yes. It's your inner self saying, kill me, or I'm going to keep acting up. And the acting up is, is the experience happening over and over again throughout your life. The thing is, you don't recognize the message, and that's not your fault. You're just never taught how to recognize the message. Right. And, right? That's so beautiful. I'm, I'm so grateful that you're out there doing the work that you do. Is there a message that you want to be sure? Though I, I think I hear it over and over again. What message do you want to be sure everyone takes home today? The, the message you can take home today, the message I want you to take home today is that whatever you want, whatever life you want, 
And just close your eyes for 30 seconds right now. I'm not on your driving, okay? Or on a roller coaster, don't do it then either. Uh, but whatever life you want, just imagine it and know you can have it. And the minute I say that, your mind just come back, came back. I, I heard it. I heard it. You, I know you thought it was in your head. It was loud and clear to me. It said, no, 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 I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's what you're going to take home with you. You don't have to know how. You don't have to know who, who's going to help you. You don't have to know any of that. Just know I can, period, done. Yes. That's very powerful. And I'm glad that you can always re-listen so that you can hear that message as many times as you need to. I understand you have an extraordinary gift for our listeners today. Uh, so yes, I, I do. I am offering a copy of my book, Your Life Sucks No More, available on my website simply go to my website, which I'm going to give you in a second now. It's the words I, and by the way, what I want everybody in the audience to do is as you're jotting this down right now, say the words to yourself, please, because they're powerful. They're an affirmation, they're a declaration to the universe. I want you to say them as you write them down. I deserve a perfect life dot com. You don't have to say the last part. I deserve a perfect life because you do. So go to the website, uh, just fill out the form and, and uh, you'll be presented with a download page to download uh, the ebook and enjoy it and uh, let it change your life. Let it change your life. And is that also the best way for people to reach you, to contact you on your website? Uh, yes, that would be beautiful, actually. On the website, I deserve a perfect life.com. Uh, there is a contact, uh, contact all section. You know, while you're there, scroll down a little bit, watch some of the testimonial videos of my past clients, uh, read about me a little bit, and, and then uh, uh, you can actually read about some of the programs and courses that I have available as well. I am so grateful that you shared, that you do share what you do with all of us, and that you, you stuck with me when all the icky stuff was interfering with our arranging for today. So, thank you so much. Now, everybody, all the links that you heard will be confirmed in the show notes today. Change your world today. Step in a new direction. Find an audio book that you'll love and start your free trial with Audible. And join our Facebook group where you can ask questions, find out what's going on and what's upcoming. I wish you a day filled with blessings. And remember to enjoy that's capital i n capital j o y exclamation point because everything you experience happens within <laughs>